Yo, so today we are picking up the two fragrances. Um, so it's Fontaine number seven. However, I haven't named the second one yet. So we'll see what happens. Uh, picking up some packaging. Mm, and then maybe next week I'll get to labeling. Uh, but I was hoping to do a review for you guys and let you know how the product turned out. The tricky one. God, well, this is cool. So do you think... Yeah. So yeah, this is the process. Uh, we mixed the oils earlier this week. And now we are bottling them and mixing them with ethanol. Which is right here. Exactly 15 minutes. Mm. So you have another 5 mils to go. 5 mils. Okay, okay. So I think if there's still drug and noir, we do 2.5 drug and noir and then. Yeah, so now I'm just unboxing. Oh shit. So now I'm just unboxing what I just. Uh, picked up what I collected um, I haven't labeled it yet I haven't branded it nothing uh, but yeah it's two fragrances um, one of left is a pure oud oil and the other uh, I've mixed um, so yeah I'm still deciding on names and everything uh, but yeah check it out so yeah it's completely unlabeled um, this one is really quite strong. It's masculine. Um, it's musk. There's a lot of musk and woodiness. Um, and yeah, it's a mix of Yves Saint Laurent, um, a few other notes, uh, Draka Noir. Um, yeah, there's quite a few different things that I've mixed to make this. And this is more of a fresh, um, sort of like springtime fragrance. Um, so yeah, like I said, I've yet to name it. So what I was thinking of naming this fragrance is Fontaine Number no. 7. Um, it's really, it feels like um, a cool summer's day or spring day. Um, walking along the beach it's mixed with a few masculine um, floral and woody scents um, yeah I feel like this would be a good fragrance to wear like on a night out um, and this is the potent shit this is just pure potency um, it's it's it lasts on you throughout the day. The scent lasts on you throughout the day. It's an oud oil. Um, there are not a lot of sort of feminine scents to this, although I did use two uh, during its production. So if I can just my the best way to describe this is. You've just stepped out of the shower. You you taken a sip of bourbon. You've lit your cigar, and that is what this smells like. It smells like the epitome of a man. <laughs> that is how I would describe it. And this is more. How can I describe it? It's a lot more light-hearted, but it's still very strong. Uh, it's still masculine, but it's a lot more flamboyant. A lot of floral tones. Um, this I would describe more as you've woken up along the beach. Uh, and it's just started drizzling is how I would describe that. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah. This is one of my favorite. It's the Fontaine number no. seven. Mm. Mm. It's 
all you need. It's all a nigga needs. Yo, when I say it's amazing, it really is. I just need to package it and brand it. Um, but yeah, it's a nice, light-hearted but strong scent. Uh, it's floral. I can say that it smells like the perfect splash, you know, like an oasis. That's how I would describe the scent. And this one, oh, it's pure strength, oud oil. Uh, I'm planning on selling it like this. So this, I don't want to make a version where you can you can spray it. I'm going to keep it simply as like this little vial of oil. And you just rub it on yourself, on your glands, whatnot. Um, and it just stays on you all day. But yeah. Uh, thanks for watching.